what's up guys in today's tech tip i'll be showing you how to pair an apple watch series 7 to an iphone now when you switch on your apple watch for the first time after taking it out of the box this is what you're going to see this is the screen you're going to see and to pair it with your iphone simply put your iphone close by and this screen will appear on your apple watch automatically it's going to detect an apple watch close by and that screen is going to appear so you want to tap on continue and then on the next screen because it's your own apple watch you can tap on setup for myself if you're setting it up for a family member then you can use that option but since you're setting it up for yourself most probably tap on setup for myself and that will bring this uh thing on your apple watch screen and what you want to do is take your iphone and put your apple watch screen inside that box just like that basically like scanning a qr code now if you previously had an apple watch then you can choose restore from backup and this will restore everything from your previous apple watch onto this watch but you can also choose to set up as new apple watch i'm just gonna go for set up as new apple watch so i'll go for the second option and then here choose the wrist preference so if you wear your watch on your left hand choose left if you wear your watch on your right hand choose right i use left so i'll select left tap on continue and then now as you can see it's going to set up language and it's going to pick up the language that i use on my iphone and then here obviously you need to read the terms and conditions and then eventually tap on agree and the only reason you're seeing this particular window is because i had previously already set up this apple watch and it says it's locked to owner but if you're setting up a brand new apple watch you won't see this particular screen so I'll quickly sign in so we can skip this step. You can skip this step for now because you can do that later. And also for the iTunes store, you can go ahead and skip. On the next page, tap OK. And then you can choose to customize the text. If you want uh, bigger text or if you want smaller text, it's all up to you. Select your text. Also, if you want it bold, you can select it from there. But I prefer to leave it like that. Then tap on continue. In this next step, you can set up a passcode for your Apple Watch. And that's so that anytime your Apple Watch is not on your wrist, to access the Apple Watch, you need a passcode. And that should prevent anybody from stealing your Apple Watch and maybe getting in there and seeing your data and information. But I'll skip that for now. So I'll tap on don't use passcode. In this next step, uh, Apple Watch will try to suggest that you leave automatic updates on. So... To do that, tap on continue. If you want to switch off automatic updates and install updates manually, then you can tap on install updates manually. But I prefer to leave it automatic, so I'll tap on continue. Again, tap on continue here. This is all about the always on display. You can change that later in the settings, continue. And then go ahead and install all available apps. Tap on install. Just because you can uninstall the apps you won't need later. And then here you can choose the appearance of the main menu if you want it in grid view or list view i prefer grid view so i'll tap on continue tap on good to know your watch this is just like a walkthrough on all the features of your watch so simply tap on done to skip that but as you can see the apple watch is already setting up and it's going to go all the way around until it finishes the initial setup process and there's nothing else you can do on your watch at this point so you might as well go ahead and see some of these tutorials get to know your apple watch series 7 learn more about your apple watch customizations and all this stuff and at this point we're just waiting for the apple watch to set up it's currently transferring all the settings and preferences we chose from the phone to the watch and also transferring your bluetooth connections like connections to your airpods your wi-fi connection and passwords they're all going to be automatically transferred to the Apple Watch. And that's exactly what's going on here as it goes around. And once it's done, it will welcome you to your Apple Watch. Go ahead and tap OK. And that's it. You're now in the Apple Watch app interface. And on the Apple Watch, you can now go and press the crown and go to the watch face and the menu. And now the Apple Watch is ready to use and that's basically how to pair your apple watch series 7 
to your iPhone. Thanks for watching and good luck.